Hello everyone, this is Yana Smakula for SimonSaySTM.com. Welcome back for another Yippee Friana episode. In this video, I'm creating an Easter card with a new stamp set from Simon Says Stamp called Bunny Kisses. It's this stamp set that I have here. It's a beautiful layering set. So you have two different bunnies, two size bunnies, um, and you have different uh, parts and pieces to stamp your bunnies in different colors of ink. If you flip to the back, you can see examples of some of the bunnies already stamped and they just look absolutely adorable. So you have uh, the body for the bunnies, you also have the insert uh, for the ear, the nose, a little blush, there's also um, another ear and a tail. This stamp set includes a couple of sentiments. My favorite is some bunny loves you and there's also happy Easter and then bunny kisses and is Easter wishes. It's a, it's a really fun stamp set for Easter cards. There's also a set of coordinating dies and these cut all the images out in this set including even the sentiments which I really love. I did not do the die cut sentiments for my card today. I did die cut one I stamped, I, had, I just had to stamp this one. So I stamped Somebody Loves You and I cut it out using the coordinating die. And then of course you also have uh, even the little dies to die cut the hearts. I'm also going to use a scalloped die. It's a coordinating die to this ornate borders and frames die set. And the largest die in this set is this beautiful scalloped frame. I thought that this would make a really cool scalloped shape card base. So what I did is I went ahead and I die cut a panel of sea glass cardstock using this die and this is going to be the background for my card. It's not necessarily going to be the card base. I'll show you how I will do the card base later but this is what will show on the front of the card. Okay let's go ahead and do some stamping. I have already picked out several colors of ink that I want to use for my bunnies because I want to have a lot of color on my card. I don't want to have white or gray bunnies, which you can do if you wanted to, but I want to have a ton of color. So here I have a sheet of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. I'm going to get my bunny stamp out, close the lid of my Misty, pick up that stamp, and we're going to get inky. So let me first show you the ink colors that I have picked. So here I have pink, green, uh, teal or light blue and green, uh, yellow. So for each color I have two shades. I have a lighter and a darker shade. I actually already have some bunnies that I have stamped previously. So the goal is to use the lighter shade for the body of the bunny and then the darker shade to stamp the nose, the blush, uh, the insert for the ear and then the second ear. And this is very easy to do. I really like how easy Mm, it is to create these bunnies with the stamp set because you just ink it up and stamp. I do like to double stamp my images, you know, just because. Okay, and my first bunny is ready. I am going to stamp all four uh, bodies first and then I'll come in and I'll add the detail to each. So my next color, first I used carnation. Now I'm using celery. This is the lightest green that I have in my stash. Again, double stamping this color. Going to clean my stamp. Need to reposition it now. Okay, that's the beauty of using a Misty. You can just stamp a bunch of images at once. So next I'm going to use sea foam and then surf will be used to add detail. Now, if you want, you can also add a little bit of shading. You can be creative, you know, like add a little bit of darker blue inking at the bottom to have color variation to your bunnies. I didn't do any, any of that. I just wanted to have a solid layer of color on these. Just going to flip this one last time. And for the yellow bunny, I'm using Sunbeam. And again, double stamping this color. Need to ink it up a little bit better. Okay, I have my four bunnies stamped and I'm going to do the nose 
the blush and the ear insert layer next. If you look at your stamp set, everything is labeled here for you, so that makes it very easy to use. So we just stamped 1B. Next, I'm going to do 3B. I'm going, I will do the 2B, but I'll do that later and I'll show you an easy way to do it. But so first we're going to do the 3B. So that's the insert for the ear. That's the blush and the nose. Let me go ahead and align that. Looks good. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see how this aligns. So you can see the nose, you can see the blush, and then this part, I kind of try and center it over the ear so that it is placed in the center of the ear that is already stamped. Let's close the lid of the Misty, ink this up with my darker pink, this is peony color, close the lid of the Misty and stamp it. And there, looks super fun and super simple. I'm going to repeat stamping these until I have all of my images stamped. So the next color I'm using is Limelicious. So this is my darker green for the green bunny. Now the green bunny, well actually every bunny, if you look at the bunny, the blush and the nose color kind of looks weird, you know, because you would want these to be done in a more natural color. But I mean, my bunnies don't have a natural color. My bunnies are all funky colors. So I think it's totally fine to have the nose and the blush stamped in a different color of ink. My next color is Surf. That's the darker blue. Again, stamping this. I did not align this one perfectly, but that's okay. And we also have one last color left to do, and I'm going to use Citrine color. This is the darker yellow to stamp the detail on the yellow bunny. Okay, good. Next, I'm going to do the second ear, and that's this 2B stamp. Now, if you are using a coordinating die, you need to use the die. Let me grab it. So you need to use the die to figure out the placement for the second ear. If you are not using the die, it doesn't really matter if you position it precisely, correctly. You can position it, you know, it can be off by a little bit. But if you are planning to cut these out, what I like to do is I like to position the die on my paper. I actually tape it in place lightly. Then I take my stamp, I place it over my die. So I use the die as a guide and I place it over my already stamped bunny. I've zoomed in so you can see this a little bit better. And with that done, I close the lid of the Misty. I remove this, the coordinating die. And then I just stamp this second ear as I normally would. And this gives me a perfectly aligned image for my card or a perfectly aligned ear for my bunny. Now you do have a stamp in this set to stamp the bunny tail. I'm not going to use that because I will cut the images out using the coordinating die and the white of the paper will create the illusion of a white tail. I don't want to add any other color. I could have stamped it in gray, but I don't want to. I want the tail to be white, so I'm just going to use the white of the paper to my advantage and keep the tail white. Now, if you want, you can also use um, some embellishments on a tail, you know, like those white pom-poms. I have some in my stash, but I don't have enough for all of my bunnies. I did, I thought about adding a pom-pom to uh, these bunnies, but unfortunately I don't have enough. I only have a few and that's, that's just not enough for all of these on my card. So here, let me show you what the pom-pom would look like if you were to add it onto the die cut bunny. Ah, it just doesn't want to stay in place. So you would just use glue to stick it in place. And look at that, so adorable. Oh my goodness, right? So I only have a handful, uh, but if you have a bunch of these, uh, you can totally use the pom-poms to add a little fluffiness to your stamped bunnies. 
Okay, with these images stamped, I'm going to use the coordinating die and cut them out in my Platinum 6 die cutting and embossing machine. And I have my four adorable bunnies ready for my card. I have already added foam adhesive from the back of these. I have one large foam square and two smaller foam squares. I like to do this because when I'm planning my card design, this uh, helps me move my die cuts around. It helps me to pick them up because they're not flat on my mat. Uh, they, are real, uh, they are popped up a little bit, so that makes it a little bit easier to handle them. What I wanted to mention is that if you wanted to, you could definitely create more bunnies and you can do different types of grid designs on your card. You guys know me, I really love to do you know, my grids. So if you wanted to stamp more bunnies, you could do a whole... Um, like a whole pattern with different colors of bunnies. I should have started with the with this teal one. So let's go teal, green, pink, teal, yellow, green, pink, teal. See, you could do a grid like this where you have four different colors, but it's a three by three grid. Or I'm, what I'm going to do for this card is I'm just going to do, uh, I'm just going to use uh, four bunnies and create a two by two grid with a simple sentiment at the bottom. I already have a panel of white cardstock created for the background of my card. This panel is going to go on top of this scalloped die cut and the size of the white panel is just perfect to uh, go on top of the scalloped frame. I use the Spellbinders rectangle dies to cut it out. You can also cut this out using any other rectangles dies you might have in your stash or just use a paper trimmer to cut a panel to size that is just a little bit smaller than your scalloped rectangle. Next, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. So I have my mini misty stamping tool and I'm going to add the Happy Easter and the sub sentiment which reads bunny kisses and Easter wishes. Now before I decide where I want to stamp the sentiment, I actually want to bring my bunnies, place them on my panel and, you know, figure out the placement for the sentiment. So by placing the bunnies, I can see how much room I have left at the bottom and how much room I have at the top so that I can position everything and make sure it's somewhat centered, you know, and somewhat balanced. Okay, so this looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to close the lid of my Misty, grab my ink pad. I'm using Versafine Onyx Black ink, and I'm just going to stamp this in black. I really like the font that is used for the Happy Easter. It's just such a beautiful and contemporary font. And I kind of like how the letters are not all facing one direction. You know, they're kind of skewed a little bit. And I don't know, to me, they seem kind of playful, just like the bunnies are. So the bunnies are playful. And then this sentiment is also very playful. With all the parts and pieces ready, I can assemble this card. So let me quickly show you what I have here. So first, I have a card base. This is an top folding card base, it is not A2. So this was A2, but then I trimmed it to be four by five and a quarter inches. And the reason I trimmed it is because I want to hide it behind my scalloped die cut. So I'm just going to hide it like this, making sure that the white cardstock does not show on the front of my card, it does not. And I'm just going to use glue to adhere this in place. So this will give me a, a top folding A2 card base or an A2 card, but the actual card base that I'm using is just a little bit smaller. And this is done so that the white cardstock does not show from under the blue cardstock. Okay, next, I have these old textured card bases in my stash and I don't really like to use them for card bases. So what I use them for is that is I use them to add dimension to my cards. Here, I have trimmed it to be slightly smaller than this panel and I'm just going to use glue to adhere them together. So first to adhere them shut and then to stick them together. 
And these are going to add, first of all, it's, they're going to add sturdiness to this panel, but they're also going to pop that panel up on my scalloped card base. Because I love dimension, I love to add a little bit of dimension, well, not a little bit, I love to add a lot of dimension, but at the same time, I don't want to add too much dimension. So I'm using cardstock to add a little bit of dimension to this panel. You can, of course, use foam adhesive, but I have a lot of those papers in my stash, so I try to utilize them and, you know, just use what I have. Okay, so now the card base is ready. It's going to open like this. If I wanted to set it on my desk, it can stand easily. And at the same time, so I have a, a beautiful scalloped card front, but then it's, you know, it's not scalloped on the back and I don't have any folds or anything like that in my beautiful scallop design. Next, I just need to add my bunnies and that is super simple. So I have already planned the collar placement for the bunnies. I already have foam adhesive, not on this one, but yeah. So all I need to do now is just adhere my bunnies in place and my card will be finished. This card is actually very easy to mass produce in case you want to mass produce it. Maybe, you know, have your girlfriends come over and create a bunch of Easter cards or create a similar card with your kids, especially if you have those pom-poms. Just imagine adding a pom-pom onto those cute bunnies. It would just look absolutely adorable. Okay, so I finished my card and I also added a couple of splash drops from Simon Says Jam to dress it up, you know, just to add a little bit of something extra to my card. And I love the way this turned out. Thanks so much for joining me today and spending time with me today. I hope you feel inspired to create. Love you guys and I'll see you next time. I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.